Hey everyone, Deshaun Rexton back with another video for you guys today. And today, as you saw by the title, I'm going to be bringing you guys my mid-year awards for WWE for 2017. Now, I know that you can debate whether I should have done it this week or next week, because next week's technically middle of the year. But to be honest with you, I don't think any of my opinions on this list would have changed from this week to next week. So I just said that I'm going to do it this week. So I have 12 categories that I'm going to share with you guys today. I'm going to start from the bottom of the list and work my way up to the superstar of the year. At the end of the year, I'm also going to be doing the same exact video with the same exact categories just for the full year of 2017. So I hope you guys like this and enjoy the video. So first up we have the best newcomer and I'm gonna give that one to Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura debuted right after WrestleMania time. So he's been there for a good chunk of the year. He just made such a huge impact from day one. They're doing great things with him. I hope he can come WWE champion very soon. His mic skills have gotten very, very good as of late. So that is why Shinsuke Nakamura is the best newcomer for 2017 so far. Okay, so now we got the feud of the year, which I'm gonna give to Seth Rollins and Triple H. <laughs> They had such a brutal and exhausting feud. Seth Rollins trying to finally dethrone the authority. So I'm giving the feud of the year to both Seth Rollins and Triple H. The most overrated slash overused superstar. I'm giving this one to Finn Balor. Remember that this is my list. In my own opinion, Finn Balor, I just don't like at all. He has no character. Yeah, he's a good wrestler, but I just don't feel that connection with Finn Balor. I think he's overused. I think they put too much into Finn Balor. But yeah, bring on the hate. I know it's going to come. Now moving on to the most underrated slash underutilized superstar of the year so far. I'm giving this one to Dean Ambrose. <laughs> Dean Ambrose is that type of guy where he has everything going for him. They just got to do something with his character. In my own opinion, he's a natural heel. You got to turn him heel. Going up with guys like Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, the chemistry's there. Turn Dean Ambrose heel. Most improved superstar of the year. I think everyone can agree with me on this one, saying Jinder Mahal is the most improved superstar of the year. <laughs> He just exploded onto the scene. I know there's always going to be that criticism with the steroids and whatnot, but Jinder Mahal has made such a big impact. He's done fantastic as a heel. He's doing great on the mic. His in-ring could use a little bit of work. I'm hoping he can have a decent reign with the title, and I'm just very excited to see where Jinder goes from here. Now we move on to the heel of the year. Now he's missed a chunk of the year so far, but I'm going to give this one to Braun Strowman. He's been such a good heel for the company that like they needed that big top guy his in-ring work has been excellent he's definitely proven himself and i'm hoping when braun Strowman returns he can continue this fantastic heel run so heel of the year so far goes to braun Strowman. the face of the year so far for this year I had trouble deciding on who I could put for this slot. But to be honest with you, this year there really hasn't been that top babyface guy in the company yet. I just gave this one to Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho, he broke off with Kevin Owens early this year and he had a great face run. Face Jericho is awesome. Heel Jericho is awesome. The list, you know, that got over with so many people. And that's why he comes in at the face of the year. Tom Brady! You just made the list! Moving on to the match of the year, I'm giving this one to AJ Styles versus John Cena from the Royal Rumble. When you talk about big time matches, this one definitely fits that category. John Cena tying Ric Flair's record was just a memorable moment. Plain and simple, John Cena and AJ Styles, Royal Rumble 2017 gets my vote. So now OMG moment of the year, The Undertaker retires. <laughs> I did not see this one coming, at least this year. I really thought if Undertaker was going to retire, it was going to be a match against John Cena, his final match. I'm glad that I got to witness his last match in WWE at WrestleMania. That's just a very special moment that I'll always keep close to me. But yeah, every time that I say Undertaker is retired, OMG. So now moving on to the last three categories, we have Tag Team of the Year, the Woman Superstar of the Year, and the Superstar of the Year so far for WWE. So Tag Team of the Year, a lot of people would say the Hardy Boys, but no, I give this one to Sheamus and Cesaro. It's just really cool to see how far Sheamus and Cesaro have both come. I'm still hoping that we get to see singles pushes for both guys respectively, but these guys as a tag team have been brilliant, and I'm hoping that they can continue it because they've been great TV. Woman Superstar of the Year, no shocker here, Alexa Bliss. Just the things that she's done both on SmackDown and Raw, unbelievable being the first ever raw and smackdown women's champion just amazing and i think if she keeps this up what she's doing right now i think this slot will stay the same end of the year as well okay now superstar of the year the main event everyone would go with the popular picks like aj styles or john cena or kevin owens or finn balor but no 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 not on this list we go with the goat the miz 
<laughs> Where do you even begin with The Miz? The Miz has been fantastic television, making the Intercontinental title great again. He doesn't even need the world title to be an amazing superstar. That just shows you how good The Miz actually is, being the mid-year award superstar of the year. One of the best feuds with John Cena earlier this year at WrestleMania. The feud with Dean Ambrose going on still has been very good. And I'm really pulling for Miz to win the Universal title sooner rather than later. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments down below telling me what your mid-awards would be. And if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, comment, and always subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social media. The links will be down in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.